अथातो दृष्टिगत रोग विज्ञानी यम अध्याय में व्याख्या से अन्ना ये तो है जब भगवान धनंतरी अधि दृष्टिगत रोग अधि दृष्टि इज रिलेटेड टू द लेंस दैर विच अलाउस द लाइट टू पास थ्रू एंड सुशीला हैज कंसीडर्ड दैट एस नेम्ड एस एस दृष्टि एंड द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द दृष्टि इज मसूलतरा मात्रम तो पंचभूत प्रसादिराम खद्यो तविस्पुरिंगा भाम इधाम तेजो भी अव्यय ही आवर्धाम पटले न अक्षमो हो बाहिर विवराक्रतिम शीता सात्म्याम रणाम दृष्टिम आहुहु नयना चिंतका हा the दृष्टि और the lens is having a size of मसूर अदला and it is produced is having the composition of all five महाभूतास and it has a appearance which looks like the ice cube like it is a transparent one and it has uh, it's having agya tejas that's a, a infinite amount of uh, the light there in that's what's considered as a. then it's a covered by and protected by the patalas the different patalas which we have already described and it's a sheet sharpness it prefers to be in the sheet guna or prefers to have the sheet guna रोगान सदाश्रयान घोरान शर्च्य शर्च्य प्रदेक्ष में है पटला अनुप्रविष्ट से आ पटला अनुप्रविष्ट से तीन मेरे सच्चे लक्षण हैं ना the diseases related to them are related to that i a lens is described and there are six in number and they are at different layers of that uh, lens as such now the diameter of the lens in adults is considered to be are calculated to be 9 to 10 mm with an average annual growth of 0.0 to 3 mm and a thickness of lens is about 4 to 5 mm which varies according to the stage asset during the accommodation when you are looking at a distant object the uh, size of the lens changes or when you are looking at the nearby object also it changes like or it also changes according to the intensity of the light now the yeah, structure of the lens has it has many layers the outermost layer is having a germinal zone where you will have that continuous growth over the area and then you have the layers of <coughs> the cortical fibers transparent fibers are there which give the elasticity to the lens and the nuclear in the nucleus area there are nuclear fibers nuclear fibers also the elasticity in both the directions so in all the directions you will have that elasticity and they, they have two poles uh, which uh, lens has two poles which can be stretched and which is connected to the ciliary muscles and the ciliary muscles can either stretch or maybe constrict the size of the lens and uh, then there is a cortex as such which allows the transparency uh, constituents of the lens are it's mainly the major component is water 66 percent protein 33 percent lipids 28 and so on all these combinations together they keep the lens either and transparent as well as elastic so transparency and elasticity of the lens is a quite vital issue to have a proper vision the transparency is to allow the light to pass through and elasticity is for the accommodation the lens is arranged in such a way that it's surrounded by the ciliary muscles and as I told you earlier the ciliary muscles would have again circular fibers and radial fibers it's mainly the circular fibers which are under the control of the autonomic nervous system which uh, help in keeping the lens in a proper dimension when the ciliary muscles relax the circular muscles relax then the lens flattens like these muscles would be radial muscles when they relax they will the lens will be flattened as such it becomes a, a, a rather thinner so it gets a stretched as such and when the ciliary muscles contract the circular muscles contract the diameter becomes lesser and the lens becomes thicker at the same time the pupillary size also would be varying the pupillary size is mainly regulated by the radial muscles and the ciliary muscles mainly regulate the size of the uh, dimensions of the lens of course uh, both these would have both the actions as such now th this uh, accommodation would be necessary to keep the image exactly over the retina when you are looking at a distant object 
the lens becomes flattened, thinner, so that the focus, uh, the uh, uh, point of focus would be away or distal, so that you get a topsy turvy image exactly over the retina. Whereas when you are looking at a nearby object, then the focus becomes uh, nearer because the diameter of the lens becomes uh, thicker. That's about the optometrics as such, and uh, this is maintained to keep the vision properly. At the same time, the intensity of the light which enters in would be depending upon the transparency of the lens as well as the pupil size. The pupils either may become constrict or may dilate to allow the lens to pass through. Now, among the diseases of the lens, the most important there is uh, the cataract or uh, the uh, chimera. Now, Sirabhi Abhisamprapya Viguda Vigu Abhyantare Prisham Prathame Patare Dosho Yesya Dristo Vyasthida Avyaktani Charupani Sarva Nyeva Now, that cataract or timira, timira, the stages of the cataract, they are mentioned in the form of uh, the different patala kataroga, prathama patala, dhritya patala, dhritya patala, as such the level uh, of in, uh, involvement. Now, uh, in the present day situation, we consider this as the stages of the cataract as such. Now, once the patient, any person has the cataract, the vision becomes blurred. And that's what Sushul says, avyakta ancha rupadi, the rupa becomes avyakta, it becomes a less prominent, and this is how it could be like a comparison of a vision, of a normal vision and a cataract person with a cataract. He may be still looking at the object, but the object may become blurred and that's how it is seen. Now cataract is again in the present day situation, it is classified as a congenital, sorry, congenital or senile cataract. The most common are the senile cataract as congenital at the time of the birth itself during due to the developmental issues and the presence of um, abnormal substances there that is uh, congenital and from the clinical point of view congenital cataract are lesser in number majority of the patients whom we see would be senile cataract senile cataract again categories into two categories nuclear and cortical i will come to that what we mean by nuclear and cortical uh, i'll show you some of the images later on then the other is a traumatic cataract which is produced due to contusion or a penetrating injury. Very often the penetrating injury occurs due to iatrogenic factors like uh, dealing with the, the uh, treatment uh, uh, physicians as such. Then a complicated cataract could be a complication of the systemic disorders like uh, diabetic, parathyroid, uh, pathology, tetany, so on. Or local eye diseases like uh, uh, retinitis pigmentosa or retinal detachment, so on the disease of eyes. Now, from the clinical, practical point of view, senile cataract is the most important issue and most of the issue which we discuss would be limited to the senile cataract. The other parts, of course, they are comparatively less important. The diseases are induced, that systemic disease induced cataract like diabetes or parathyroid tetany etc. Also, they have a similar property or similar course as that of the senile cataract. The difference is that uh, it may occur at a younger age. Now, cataract also is classified based upon the stage in which it is in, and the senile cataract is uh, considered to be a gradual, progressive clouding and thickening of the lens of the eye. The transparent object in the lens of the eye would be gradually clouded and thickened, and uh, cat this lens initially loses its elasticity. That's the first and foremost symptom which occurs in a patient who has a tendency to have the senile cataract would be the lens becomes less elastic and hence the patient would have a difficulty in accommodation. He may not be able to see the distal and distant and nearby objects clearly and that's what we call as usually chalisa. Usually occurs after the age of 40 and hence it is called as chalisa. Then it results in a clouding of the uh, this, uh, lens object and that becomes the uh, cataract as such. As per the uh, data, the, in India, <coughs> the 22 million blind eyes are the blindness of 22 million people have occurred uh, due to the cataract every year or rather. Um, it has shown that uh, there is a backlog of 22 million blind eyes which are not treated uh, properly or which are not yet treated surgically. And, uh, 
they are blind due to cataract as such. The annual incidence of the cataract blindness is around 3.8 million sorry, in, that, uh, in India. This is the situation there. And hence, uh, cataract has become a major issue and it is one of the programs which are uh, dealt with in the National Health Program. Cataract is again staged into four categories based upon the stage in which it is seen now. And the incipient cataracts is the early stage where the uh, cataract may not be directly visible to the naked eye. Only on a slip lamp examination the cataract could be seen and the patient may have a slight very minimal symptoms of either that uh, difficulty in accommodation or mild blurring. Patient usually the first symptom would be patient would be able to do all, see all the objects but she needs more light see uh, to read or to do such fine jobs a relatively moderate light would be would not be enough for the person to see clearly but under the bright light she, his vision may be normal and that stage is called as incipient cataract and it has a relatively little significance and at that stage all the approach would be to prevent that from going to the next stage then the next stage is the immature cataract and this is uh, produced uh, that this stage there would be a opacification and majority of the situations that opacification can be observed if you look at the eyes uh, directly the color of the lens can be seen to be whitish slightly whitish and <coughs> uh, it can occur at different zones of the lens and based upon that they are named I will come to that part that mature cataract is where the cataract is almost opaque and hence <coughs> the uh, patient would have a uh, lesser reflex and uh, the color of the lens would be either brownish at that uh, typical or completely white as such. A brownish is brownish or whitish uh, color as such. Then hypermature cataract is uh, a white opacity, absolutely bright opacity and uh, there, if you put in a red light, the red light would be not reflected and it contains as such. And if at all you open the uh, lens and then see, the, it has a milky white uh, substance in the capsule. And after surgery, if at all you see the lens as such, it will be milky, having milky white substances. And it is due to the degenerated cortex area. So it starts initially in the <laughs> elastic fibers then it involves the, cap, uh, the cortex as well as the capsule capsule also becomes thick thick as such and this hypermature cataract would be having uh, blurry uh, or blocking the light completely and hence there would be a complete blindness now the clinical science clinical staging of cataract also can be done by based upon visual acuity visual acuity in such conditions incipient cataract patients are, would be having visual complaints but can still read at 20 by 20 uh, the only thing is uh, he needs to have a, a better, better light and it can be confirmed only by slit lamp examination in a, in a immature cataract he can distinguish the letters or lines better than at 20 to 200 that's his vision becomes uh, less efficient and in a good number of such patients having a spectacle would be enough to manage that condition patient can be comfortable. In a mature cataract cannot read better than 20 by 200 and uh, the visual acuity chart also would be uh, uh, that's it, particularly when you look at that vision and that's what you call a mature cataract. If your person's vision is reduced 20 by 200 then <coughs> the uh, his vision uh, that is called as mature cataract. In the hypermature cataract the patient have a very difficult uh, uh, or very poor vision either it may be limited to a simple hand motion that only the hands could be seen or the finger counts if he may not be able to count the finger now cataract again when you look at the object uh, the eyes the appearance of the cataract would be very classical in a congenital cataract it will be a seen as a opacity in the lens throughout as a slight opacity cloudy embryonic nuclear uh, that's nuclear cataract is when the cataract starts that con uh, process starts at the uh, center of the cataract where you will see in the central area this also is seen in case of the congenital pathologies 
the anterior polar would be depending upon the location where the opacity occurs on the anterior side. The senile, in the senile cataract again, the majority of the patients would have senile nuclear where the central area would be seen. In the slit lamp vision, you can see that uh, spot of uh, opacity easily. Then mature and the senile cortical, mature cataract would be having that opacity almost throughout the lens as such it becomes milk weight and the senile cortical also having the same but it's limited to the cortex anterior side. Now based upon the shape of this opacity, again they could be identified as a, the posterior subcapsular when it is seen on the posterior surface of the eye more than the anterior or a traumatic usually have irregular one and the shield cataract is when the capsule has become more opaque and in the central zone there is a, a dense opaque area. Then the shape could be subcapsular when it is located in the subcapsular level. You can see that thick opacity around the area. These are all slit lamp visions. When you look, examine the patient in a slit lamp, these can be made out. Sunflower is where you will have that opacity with the typical ray like appearance, sunflower like appearance. Or phacoglactic is, uh, phacoglactic is uh, where the central nuclear substance has become dissolved or even ruptured, and hence you will have this uh, opacity, almost circular opacity seen. And uh, the vision would be normal vision where the patient would be able to see the um, structures clearly. It could be like blurry or at times it could be double vision where instead of one patient may be seeing that extra ex extension of the image or a glare like patient may be having a very blurry vision or there could be color changes. These are all the possible changes which can occur at a different stages of the cataract as such. Now the same descriptions of these variations are described by Sushuda as the symptoms present of involvement of the different layers or involvement of the different doshas. In the present day situation, we consider all these as the clinical variants of the presentation, whereas Sushu had given a importance from the point of view of severity of the disease as well as involvement of the doshas. And in the Dutiya Patala, when the uh, a Timira reaches to the second plane, Dithiya Patala Gathavayadi, in that condition, Drishtihi Brisham Vikhvalati Dithiyam Patalam Gathe Makshikaha Mashakan Keshan Jalakan Jabashati Mandalani Padakam Shamari Kirihi Kundalani Cha Paripulavang Shabigdhan Varsham Abhram Tamam Cha Durasthani Perupani Manyatek Sami Padaha Sami Pasthani Cha Durayta Drishti Gochara Vibhramat Yatnaman Apichara Tyartham Suchi Pasham Napashyati When it reaches the Dutiya Patala the signs or symptoms would be even after significant efforts the patient would not be able to insert the thread into the needle Suchi Pasham Napashyati Needle and the thread would not be seen clearly and the next is symptom is Durasthana Pirupani Manyatech Sami Padaha The accommodation reflexes would be affected and hence the patient may not be able to make out a objects either at the distance or she may wrongly perceive an object at a distance as nearby or the reverse, a nearby object as a, the distant object. That means he is not able to uh, exactly assess the distance between him and the object. Now that's a, a failure of the accommodation reflex. And in addition to that, the patient may have many uh, these insertions in the vision. He may see some objects or spots in the vision, <coughs> which may resemble like uh, um, uh, flies, ants, or maybe hats, or so on, or the mandalas or patakas like flags or bright light, etc. So there will be visual abnormalities where the person would be seeing some different objects. Now, this kind of abnormalities in the field of the vision are seen in case of the scattered consolidation as in case of the sunflower consolidation or in case of the nuclear consolidation these kinds of the symptoms are more seen whereas accommodation pathology and uh, the uh, blurring of the vision is a common phenomenon in all then in the trutia patala when it reaches the trutia patala next level almost the sign of mature cataract would be urdham pashadin arvastarva trutiyam patalam gate Mahan Tepijarupani Chaditani Vasava, Karna Nasakshi Tani Vipritani Vikshade, Ethar Dosham Charanjeta, Dustihi Doshe Badiasi, Asasthi Samipastam Durasam Jauberis Tide, 
ಪಾರ್ಶ್ವಸ್ಥಿತಿಯ ತಥಾ ದೋಷೆ ಪಾರ್ಶ್ವಸ್ಥಾನಿ ಚ ಪಶ್ಯತಿ ಸಮಂತದ ಸ್ಥಿತಿ ದೋಷೆ ಸಂಕುಲಾನಿ ಪಶ್ಯತಿ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ಮಧ್ಯವಿದೆ ದೋಷೆ ಸ ಏಕಂ ಮನ್ಯದೇ ದ್ವಿಧ ದ್ವಿಧ ಸ್ಥಿತಿ ತ್ರಿಧ ಪಶ್ಯತಿ ಬಹುಗಾತ ಅನಮಸ್ಥಿತೆ ಟಿಮಿರ ಅಕ್ಷಸವೇ ದೋಷ ದಟ್ ತೃತೀಯ ಕಂದರೆ ಈಸ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಟಿಮಿರ ಆಸ್ ಸಚ್ ನಿಯಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಟಿಮಿರ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ ಅಟ್ ದಟ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಅದರ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ಸ್ ದೋ ವಿ ಯು ಕನ್ವೆನ್ಷನ್ ಯೂಸ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಪ್ರಥಮ ಪಟಲಾಗಿದ್ದ ಟಿಮಿರ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸುಶ್ರ ಯು ಮೆ ನಾಟ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಟಿಮಿರ ಯು ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಆಸ್ ಪ್ರಥಮ ಪಟಲಾಗಿದ್ದ ದೋಷ ಆರ್ ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ಪಟಲಾಗಿದ್ದ ದೋಷ ನಾವು ದ ಕ್ಲಿನಿಕಲ್ ಸಿಂಪ್ಟಮ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ಕ್ವೈಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಕಲ್ ದಿ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವಿಷನ್ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ರೆಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವಿಷನ್ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ಆಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿನ್ಸ್ a person either the field superior part of the vision uh, field of the vision would be reduced that's what we call as the tunnel vision the, he will not be able to see the objects which are either in the superior area or he may not be able to see uh, or he may perceive it wrongly like uh, uh, a object which is uh, below in the lower plane may be considered as a closer or a, a, this, um, a object which is above at a superior area may be considered as a, a distant object. So uh, that, that's uh, the uh, sign of uh, the impairment of the field of division like and uh, or he may be, uh, he may be, his vision may be so blurred that he may not be able to perceive the movements of the hands or fingers like uh, uh, he uh, 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 that's a uh, Uh, yeah, uh, that, could, that too, Dushti Madhya Gati, if it's a nuclear preparadji, he may have a perception differences where instead of counting one, he may count as two or three or so on, he may see multiple images or he will, uh, what we call as a finger count test, one of the standard tests in ophthalmology is a, a finger count test and the patient would not be able to uh, pass through the finger count test successfully, he may have a confusion about that. and if it the whole is a nuclear one that is drishti madhya gate that would be the major presentation if it is a samantataha uh, if the whole capsule is involved then this sankula anima pashyati he will not be able to make out the vision the blurred vision will be totally blurred as such so now of course we usually make use of two words cloudy vision and blurred vision blurred vision where the edge of the shapes which you see would not be seen clearly the central area may be still somewhat better when you say cloudy vision the whole component is a not seen as such now that cloudy vision is a sign in case of uh, the early stages like vidya gata in the tridya patala gata it is the blurred vision which is a sign according to sushuka then uh, or he may look at the images uh, and the images may be perceived wrongly he may not be able to see the ears knows are finer details of the image or he may be uh, perceiving those finer details as a something different karna nasakshitani viparitan prashyati he will not be able to make out the exact as such that's the tritya patalagata chaturthya patalagata chaturtham patalam gatah runam ji sarvada drishti linga na drishtim linga nasha samuchade tasmin api tamo bhute nathir udhe mahagate ಚಂದ್ರಾದಿತ್ಯವು ಸನಕ್ಷತ್ರವು ಅಂತರಿಕ್ಷೆ ಚ ವಿದ್ಯುತ ನಿರ್ಮಲ ಅಂಚೆ ತೇಜಾಂಸಿ ಧಾರಿಷ್ಣು ಚ ಪಶ್ಯತಿ ನಾವು ಇನ್ ಚತುರ್ಥ ಪಟಲ ಗೊತ್ತ ಆ ಲಿಂಗನಾಶ ದಿ ವಿಷನ್ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಅಬ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆರ್ ಅಕೇಶನಲಿ ದಿ ವಿಷನ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಎ ವೆರಿ ಬ್ರೈಟ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸನ್ ಆರ್ ಮೂನ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಸ್ ಅಕೇಶನಲಿ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಸೀನ್ ಬಟ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಮೇ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಸೀನ್ and the same linga nasha is called as nilika kacha samnidha the other names are nilika and kacha now the speciality of sushuda shastra malati is which is in the current situation these differences are not made out like what are the shapes or what are the ranges of the differences in the vision and how they are clinically oriented that component is not really seen in the contemporary pathology or contemporary shastra malati whereas sushuda has attributed these uh, a variable uh, variations in the vision into the in, uh, physiological component like the doshas tatra vatena rupani bhamanti vadi pashyati aridani aruna bhani vyavidhani cha manavah if we say vataja pathology due to vata the objects will be looking to be seeming to be moving here and there and they may be when cloudy aridani that cloudy vision or aruna bhani they may have a reddish color 
are very dull. They seem to be broken. So vision objects may be having that kind of an appearance. Uh, of course, you will get the patients with all these different symptoms. But in the contemporary pathology, these are not given any clinical value. Whereas from Sushila's point of view, these have a clinical value. Pittena Aditya Khadyota Shakra Tapatra Tadi Gudan Shiki Bahi Bijitrani Nila Krishnani Pashati in a Pitta pathology, patient would be seeing any object as a brighter object, like either lightning or maybe something like um, uh, Chakra Tap uh, uh, that's lightning or bright light like object. Uh, even in the absence of the light, he may be able to see some light like objects or he may be seeing the objects uh, uh, in, with the different shapes uh, like um, uh, feathers of peacock, Shikibalhi is a feathers of peacock or bluish or blackish substance objects may be seen in the vision. Kafeana Pashyad Rupani Snithancha Sitanicha Gaura Chamara Gaurani Shwetabra Pratimanicha Pashyad Asukshmani Atyartam Vyabhreja Abhrasamplava Salila Plavitani Maparicha Adhyani Manamaha In the Kafeja Vyadhi the objects will be looking more whitish or whiter objects may be perceived by the patient like uh, the chamara, that uh, fans or any other shvetabhra uh, like uh, a white cloud like or the patient may be able to see bigger objects, bigger uh, objects in the scotoma in the vision as such and uh, they all objects may be looking seeming to be uh, wet uh, uh, as if they are dipped in water. Tata Raktena Raktani Tamam Sibidhani Cha Harita Shyamakrashtani Dhumma Dhumrani Chekshade If the Raktaja Vyadhi in that condition all the objects would be seeming to be bright red in color and uh, or maybe dark spots could be seen and there could be either bluish, uh, greenish or blackish colors seen in the objects. Sanipatena Chitrani Viprutani Cha Pashyati Bahudhava Dhivava Pi Sarvani Yama Samantha Praha Hiradikangani Adhava Jyotim Shabhi Pashyati in the Tridoshya Vyadhi all the objects will be seen as aberrant, that uh, there will be distortions. The objects will be distorted. He will not be able to see the, uh, perceive the real object. He may perceive an object as something else. And uh, uh, or there could be multiple visions. Or instead of seeing one, he may see multiple, many or two or so on. Or the objects may be seen with, with uh, maybe either lesser number of specialities or special components or uh, uh, more number of special components like he may be seeing either no hands at all or maybe four or five hands and so on. So that kind of an issue would be seen. Now the, if, whether these have a relatively clinical importance from the management point of view that kind of an approach is not studied but you can see patients, patients complaining of these different complaints and as I told you earlier repeat again these symptoms and descriptions of the patients are not given due importance in the current situation. That's about the timira or the cataract. The next of the condition is a parimlai. In the parimlai, pittam kuriya parimlai murchilam ratrizha pita vishaha tasa udyantam anityam yobashati vikirimanan khadyotehi rukshan sredo bhirevata. A parimlai is a pittaja vyadhi which involves uh, the vision component. Now according to Sushula it's a drishti. Now in the present day situation it may not be the involvement of the cataract, uh, this uh, lens as such, but it could be a uh, similar symptoms can be seen where the patient would be having a appearance of something uh, this uh, reddish discoloration and there could be irritation. The patient may have a symptoms of irritation and the whole vision would be seeming to be bright and the would have uh, something like um, the eyes also would be looking reddish as such the objects will be reddish as such now to, to a great extent these kinds of and vision would be blocked of course vision would be reduced these symptoms are um, often seen in optic neuritis now optic neuritis is now defined as a, a demanding inflammation with the optic nerve that often occurs in multiple sclerosis, majority of the multiple sclerosis and the multiple sclerosis conditions, the condition would be a, 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 a gradually tapering off, it gets reduced by itself 
and the patient may recover majority of the patients may recover but it tends to recur repeatedly in multiple sclerosis or in case of neuromyelitis it could be a progressive and irreversible so that's the difference typical clinical presentation would be usually this multiple sclerosis would be presented after a viral illness any of the viral fevers or so on and the, the most of the times it's a, uh, involving one eye both eyes are less commonly involved and the first of the symptom would be usually difference in the color perception he will not be able to perceive the color properly and uh, in the affected eye that's what we call as a dyschromatopsia dyschromatopsia is a, a improper perception of the color it's not color blindness and uh, it can be more prominent than the, the decreased vision in many of the conditions or the other symptoms could be pain in the retroorbital area often presented as a headache or ocular pain in the whole eyeball the pain may be seen and uh, if this pain increases on movement of the eye then other two characteristic symptoms are unta phenomena and uh, the pulfrich effect unta phenomena is a uh, when the symptoms are increased suddenly when the patient is exposed to heat or exercise pulfrich effect is uh, the objects moving in a straight line appear to have a curved trajectory now this is what we'll see like when in a normally if a pendulum is moving around you will be seeing that pendular movement in the straight line but in the pulfrich effect the patient will be uh, seeming like feeling like the pendular pendulum is a uh, moving in a circular direction or something like a curved fashion either it could be the anterior or the posterior this is what a vision seen in pulfrich effect and this also is a very typical sign of uh, the demyelination of the optic nerve or optic neuritis as such it is a very classical clinical symptom and that's i would consider that as a perimilai then vaksham shanvidam roge hilikarasham atap param uh, uh, the lingarasha or the cataract also can be produced due to the pigmentation uh, as such and uh, that is based upon the color uh, the appearance of the lens as such rago aruna marudaja pradishta pitta parimlai api atha api nila kapha chita shonjya rakta samast dosho atha vichitra roopa the color of the lens or color of the eyeball as whole this uh, presence of different colors would be affecting the vision and sushrava categories we mean to the six categories based upon the doshas when the area uh, vision is having reddish color it may be marudaja pitta parimlai in the pitta the parimlai lakshana can be seen as well as it could be bluish color parimlai lakshana we have discussed already in the previous issue or kapha chita with the kapha variety it could be whitish shone the just that could be bright red in uh, this uh, raktaja samast dosho vichitra roopa the tridosha there will be multiple colors in the present day situation we have a disease called as pigmentary glaucoma where there could be a deposition of abnormal pigments in the area and accompanying that the patient may have the glaucoma and that it's also called as pigment dispersion syndrome or pigmentary glaucoma is uh, uh, produced due to in the due to loss of pigment in the posterior surface of the iris and hence you may when you look at the eye the color of the eye may be changed and this also can be one of the suggestive signs of the glaucoma and the patient may have almost the similar issues as such now the as a result of this um, pigmentary glaucoma the clinical signs when you look at the eye with the ever um, split lamp you may be seeing either a transient dimension defect like due to the deposition of pigment some areas will be darker and then you may see the sunlight like appearance or a crooked bird spindle in the iris you will be able to see these fibers a blackish bundle bundle like structures or pigment in the anterior surface of the iris can be seen as a blackish object over or pigment deposit in the anterior lens surface can occur these are all the different pigment uh, distribution uh, syndrome signs seen on slip lab in all these conditions the patient may have a sort of vision abnormalities different sort of vision abnormalities 
almost uh, majority of the conditions would have almost the same symptoms as that of the glaucoma. Uh, uh, glaucoma where the vision would be tunnel vision, the field of vision becomes constricted. Or the same, there could be appearances, different appearances of the colors too. And these are established disease conditions as such. Now, Sushra again further describes the same. Rattajam mandalam dhusto sthula kacha anala prabham parim rayani rogya syata mlai anilam te mandalam dosha kshaya kavlaki kshaya swayam tapratila shanam. At times, in, in the whole eyeball may look bright red and even the kacha, that the lens also could be seen to be bright red as such or it could be in the parimlai condition there could be anilam slightly bluish color or a circular patch could be seen arulam mandalam vata chanchalam parusham tatha pittat mandalam anilam kaksya bham pitame vata shleshmana bahalam stridham shankha kundya indu pandurum chalat padna pala shastaha shuklo binduri vabhasaha sangkujati atape atyartham chayagam istrudo bhaveta Along with the other symptoms which we have discussed already, there could be other abnormalities in a patient with cataract. One could be the color, appearance of the color of the eyeball, when you look at the eyeball, that's the pigmentary variations. Now, whatever the images which you have seen earlier, I have shown earlier, Sushra names them as a, the different colors in the mandala and it's attributed to the again doshas. Aruna mandalam vata, the, in the <coughs> vatraja vyadi, uh, the mandala becomes, the iris becomes somewhat reddish and the chanchalam, it becomes hyperreflexic, hyperactive, iris becomes hyperactive and parusham, it looks rough. In the pittaja vyadi, it becomes a slightly bluish or kamsyam, something like we were, um, uh, petal uh, appearance, like uh, the uh, alloy metal, bronze, bronze like appearance, bluish or petal metal, yellowish. Sleshmana in the Kapaja Vyadhi, it becomes thicker and may have appearance like Shankha Kundra, like uh, lotus, etc. Then, uh, 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 or it could be like a uh, uh, Shuklo Bindiri Vambasal, something like a uh, drop of water like appearance could be seen. Now, the uh, another abnormality could be seen with the iris movements, the reflexes. Iris can be hyperactive. Sankujati Atape Athyartam Thayam Vistruta Bhaveta. See, normally also in the bright light, the iris would become somewhat, pupils become constricted and uh, the um, uh, uh, darkness it will be viral. But when it becomes uh, more prominent, hyperactive, that that's also a sign of the irritation of the eyeball. That can be the sign of uh, involvement of this uh, cataract or lens asset. Then, Mrityamane Chanayane Mandalam Tattu Sarpati. If you rub the eyeball, that whatever you see the appearances, they could be altered, they could be changed as such. So, that's uh, the typical features which are mentioned and they are attributed to the doshas. Shadlinga Nasha, Shadil Major Ogaha, Dusya Shaya, Shatti Shadeva Shihu, Tata Naraha Pitabit to the Sea, Cafe Naja, and yes to the Atuduma the Sea, Yosu Sujadio, Nakalan to Saja, Gambira to Natu to the Sea. These six varieties of the Linga Nasha are the more important conditions related to the eye, or the patient may have a vision abnormality due to Duma the Sea, Husajadia, Nakalan Tata, or Gambira the Sinasha. Now, Pitana Dustana Gatena Dustim Pita Bhavik Dishana Rasti Dustihi, Pitani Rupani Chamani Tata Samana Pitta Vilatu Dustihi, Prakya Tritiam Patalam to Doshe, Divana Pashe, Nishi Vikshadeja, Ratro Sashitan Bhita Dustihi, Pitta Pitta Dabhava the Pi, Tani Pasheta. Now another of the unique feature could be when there is an involvement of the Pitta Dusti, the patient could be seeing yellowish objects around and all the objects may have a yellowish tinge in the vision and uh, uh, the, if there is a pittaja vyadhi involved in the trutiya patala patient may be able to see better in low light in the night as such in the low light he may be able to see better but <coughs> whereas in the bright light he may not be able to see objects now this also is a very unique feature which we see in many of the patients of cataract some of the patients of the cataract would be having a intolerance to the light, bright light they cannot tolerate, 
whereas in the low light they can be comfortable they may not see very clearly but they may be comfortable now of course in the present day situation we do not give any importance to that from the clinical point of view whereas sushila says it is a sign of pitta drishti and uh, the reasons given are ratra sa shitan grahita drishti pitali pitali abhavad tani pashyat uh, because in the night the pitta becomes reduced he will be able to see better in the night तथा नर श्लेष्म शुक्ला मनते तो त्रिषु स्थित अल पटले दोष नक्ताम आपादयति प्रसख्य दिवास सूर्यानुग्रही चक्षु ईक्षेत रूपा कफा कफाभवात एनदर सेट ऑफ द पेशेंट मे हाव ए विजन बैर एवरीथिंग लुक्स पेलर वैटर एंड दट पेशेंट मे बी हैविंग ए बेटर विजन इन द ब्राइट प्लेट एंड नक्ताम हि मे हाव ए नईट ब्लैंडने and now of course now in the present day situation night blindness symptom is attributed to vitamin a deficiency but beyond that the, the even the patient of cataract this could be seen as a group of patients may be having a somewhat better vision in a brighter light whereas they can and majority of the patients would be of that category and sushila consider this as a kapaja lingarasha then comes the other dhumalashi dhumalashi is a वेन शोकज्वर आयास शिरो अभितापे अभ्याहला नरस्य दृष्टि सधूम का पश्यति सर्वभावान् तथा धूम दर्शीति वदंती रोगम दैट्स व्हाट वी कॉल एज क्लाउडी विजन क्लाउडी विजन इज व्हेन द पेशेंट इज नॉट एबल टू हैव ए क्लियर विजन एंड मोस्ट ऑफ दीस सिम्टम्स आर सीन इन रेटिनोपैथी नाउ रेटिनोपैथी इज अ वेरी बिग वर्ड व्हिच इन्वॉल्व्स एन एब्नॉर्मलिटी ऑफ द रेटिना एंड the common causes are again of course retinopathy is again categorized in two non proliferative and proliferative a non proliferative is usually a temporary phenomenon which could occur due to uh, temporary causes uh, reversible causes proliferative is when there would be more deposition growth of abnormal blood vessels see in the non proliferative when you do the pandoscopy you will be seeing some spots of hemorrhage but blood vessels will be not be hypertrophied or there will be no new blood vessels the whereas uh, there could be a few aneurysms some spots of bleeding could be seen whereas proliferative proliferative diabetic retinopathy you will see more vessels coppery vessels and rigid vessels seen and there will be deposition of many whitish substances that which we call as the x-rays hard x-rays could be deposited in large number and the causes of retinopathy could be either hy- diabetic hypertensive or uh, what we call as a central serous retinopathy where there could be a edema and there could be Our retinopathy of prematurity. From the clinical point of view, diabetic and uh, hypertensive are uh, more important. Uh, fundoscopy is one of the important tools to make out. And in the present days uh, situation, uh, patients of diabetes they are to be subjected to fundoscopy as a rule. And uh, the stages in which you see in a diabetic retinopathy could be either uh, there could be slight hemorrhagic areas. or uh, that's what we call as usually the first stage and then there could be macro aneurysms there could be dilatation of the vessels with the hemorrhage and uh, there could be wool like deposits uh, which is also called as second stage when the hard x rays kick hard x rays and new blood vessels are formed that's usually the third stage and when there is a spot of blot hemorrhage where the hemorrhage has become blackish due to the deposition aneurysms with the hemorrhage and uh, multiple hard x rays that's considered as usually the fourth stage For, uh, hypertensive retinopathy also is uh, very common and fundoscopy also is one of the standard investigations in case of the hypertension and in the hypertensive investigation the first stage changes would be coppery vessels uh, vessels become thicker and bright red then comes the hemorrhage multiple hemorrhage spots and depending upon the extent of the hemorrhage they may be categorized into different stages as such that's about the retinopathy as such uh, dhumalashi द नेक्स्ट इज सहस्रस्व जाड्य दिवस कृत्सा हृत्वा रूपा एन पश्येत दट अनदर आफ द कंडीशन इज हृस्व जाड्य वैर दैट कुड बी एबनॉर्मलिटी आफ द विजन एंड दि टिपिकल एपियरेन्स वु बी वेन द पेशेंट लुक्स एट एन आबजेक्ट सम ऑफ द आबजेक्ट्स मे बी सीमिंग टू बी शार्टर एंड सम मे बी लांगर हि नाट बी एबल टू मेजर दीज प्रॉपरली एंड दिस कैंड ऑफ सिम्टम ईज कॉल्ड एज एन ऐसी कोनिया एन ऐसी कोनिया मीन्स ड्यू टू Uh, either uh, different causes there multiple causes are there but uh, most of the time it is due to a uh, irregular size of the pupils uh, very commonly seen in horner syndrome horner syndrome is a condition where 
the pupils will not be symmetrical size of the pupils it can be asymmetrical one pupil may be shorter and the other pupil may be uh, smaller and other pupils may be bigger and the causes are many of course horner syndrome we have two as an excellent report in the neurology classes more detail about that causes could be many and because of that the patient will have a situation where a certain component when he looks with the both eyes some visions there could be a re- reduction in the size so a same image in one eye he may be seeing this image as this in the other eye he may look at the image as a this which results in a blurring of the vision then comes another of the situation nakulandhya nakulandhya is a where vidyotade yena narasthi drishtihi dosha vipannaha nakulase dvata chitrani rupani divasa pashyet sabai vikaro nakulandhya samnah nakulandhya is a a situation where the total field of the vision becomes blurred or altered and uh, or maybe reduced uh, is uh, and the patient may looking at the object in a different fashion and social says nakula that's the mongoose would have that kind of vision we do not know whether the mongoose have that kind of vision or not now in the present day situation we call this symptom as a metamorphosis metamorphopsia metamorphopsia also can be a consequence of the cataract like lesions or it also can be due to multiple causes involving the retina or the brain the most common the metamorphopsia could be due to the abnormal perception in the brain patients who have a cortical damage also may have these kind of symptoms so we may categorize them as central or peripheral the central causes are more common patients with metamorphosis seen now are majority of the patients would have some pathology in the brain very commonly seen after stroke patients who have recovered from the stroke they may have these kinds of abnormalities occasionally and of course there is virtually no cure for that and they are categorized into micropsia or macropsia micropsia is where some areas of the field of the vision seem to be constricted and some areas of the field of vision would be widened and hence uh, this is how a, a possible impression a normal vision and a vision of metamorphosia micropsia or macropsia confirmation of this then is usually by a chart now in the if you go to an ophthalmologist they would use this kind of a network of chart a normal appearance of the chart and patients with the metamorphosia would be seeing the chart that network of chart may be with the, that kind of an appearance that's how uh, metamorphosia is diagnosed of course metamorphosia there is no curative treatment or metamorphosia also may have a floaters in the vision the vision field may be having some of these different objects at different shapes which may be perceived as some specified object by a patient and this also is a, uh, a sign of metamorphosia then comes the gambhirika drishti rupa shasana prasthita sankuchyate abhyantara rasya api rujavagada tamakshi rogam gambhirika iti pravarnite jnaha gambhirika is a disease where the patient's vision is reduced the field of vision is reduced sankuchati it becomes reduced and it looks like some of the objects in the field area they are may be deformed blunt uh, as such that condition is gambhirika now we na- these symptoms are named as tunnel vision mostly seen in glaucoma glaucoma we have already uh, uh, discussed that the clinical symptoms of glaucoma can vary in the advanced stages of the glaucoma the tunnel vision is a, uh, one of the signs seen where the field of vision will be constricted and hence the appearance will be like if you look at a tree a patient of glaucoma may be looking only this area not the whole tree as such and exactly that's what susura has considered as gambhirika so according to susura gambhirika symptom is a sign of drishtigata roga we now consider this as a, a consequence of the glaucoma majority of the conditions then bahya punar dwahya sabdhishto nimitta stha animitta dashta nimitta tatra shirobhita apata jnaya sto abhishanda nidarshane stha surarshi gandharva ahor maha uragana sandarshine napaja bhaswarana hanya drishti hi manudhisya salingana shah to animitta samnya tatrakshi vispashtam eva apati vaidurya varna hi maraja drishti now lingarasha is a sudden loss of vision and susura categories them into two categories sanimitta and animitta where the def- definite causes are made out and the other way the definite causes are not made out the definite causes conditions would be related to the previous diseases in the eye or headache and so on 
शुरू भी कर पाए तो और अभी चल रही दर्शन है एट्सेट्रा दैट्स द डिफरेंट सॉर्ट्स ऑफ कंडीशंस व्हिच के मे बी प्रीसीडिंग दैट अनिमित्ता इज प्रोड्यूस्ड ड्यू टू सम सेलेस्टियल फैक्टर्स एंड इट कुड बी लाइक द डिवाइन ऑफ दिस ऑब्जेक्ट्स लाइक गॉड्स और ऋषिज गंधर्व और सो ऑन लुकिंग एट दोस आर लुकिंग एट ए ब्राइट ऑब्जेक्ट आर एट टाइम्स विदाउट एनी नोन कॉजेस दैट कुड बी अ सडन लॉस ऑफ विजन आर the vision may have a appearance uh, blurred and in uh, this uh, uh, this uh, unclear objects could be seen the vision may be uh, reduced the intensity of the vision could be reduced as such and this this kind of a sudden loss of vision is now considered as a retinal detachment and it also can occur suddenly many times the exact causes are not known or at times it could be with the known causes and in the present day situation retinal detachment is a uh, categorized into three categories regmatogenous or traction retinal or exudative retinal detachment more common are uh, the exudative uh, detachment which can occur due to many systemic disorders like vasculitis hypertension etc uh, majority of the patients who we see with the retinal detachment are uh, 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 this exudative or serious serious uh, retinal detachment where there would be edema and then the retinal detachment occurs regmatous uh, regmatogenous retinal detachment is uh, when a hole or a tear or a break in the neuronal layer is seen and this can be made out only when you go for the fundoscopy detailed fundoscopy or immunofluorescence studies are done now the standard benchmark investigations for retinal detachment are uh, the immunofluorescence studies and that can make out these differences and all of them have some importance in the management as well the tractional retinal detachment occurs from adhesions over the fibrovascular area and uh, exudative is due to previous inflammation uh, either ultrasonography or immunofluorescence or fundoscopy the fundoscopy the detachment is seen as a, a, a area with the different color and based upon that appear uh, location you may classify into any of the categories ultrasonography is considered to be the standard simple investigation to confirm that immunofluorescence studies are the other issues viriyate seedhi hiriyate eta nuram abhigata hata drushti now the uh, the vision also could be affected due to trauma according to sushruta and ikete nayanagata me avikara sankhyata pratigha shatya sapulishta एकषा प्रतिगृह विस्तरेण सको मक्षेहम तदनु चिकित्सकम यथावत दिस एंड्स विद द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द 76 आई डिजीजेस एंड द नेक्स्ट वुड बी अबाउट द ट्रीटमेंट विद दिस इज इ सुशुक संहिताय मुक्तर तंत्रांतरते शालाकेंद्रे दृष्टिगत रोग विज्ञानी नाम सप्तम अध्याय 7th चैप्टर इज ओवर सो वी विल कंक्लूड नाउ इफ देयर आर एनी क्वेश्चंस वी विल ट्राई टू आंसर एंड देन वाइंड अप राइट देयर आर नो क्वेश्चंस वी विल वाइंड अप सो ओके